This video here uh, we're going to attempt to show you is a father, there he is, laying into a bunch of kids. Uh, this after they teased his daughter, who apparently has a cerebral palsy. The video went viral and it sparked a conversation about bullying and what parents and kids can do if they are the victim or if they are doing the bullying themselves. This morning we are joined uh, with Mike Oliver here and you actually, hey, good, morning. good morning, and we've got Sean here. In just a moment we are going to do a little bit of role playing. Uh, Mike, I was talking with you and I said, you know, a parent finds out the first thing they want to do, maybe go to the school, but that's not enough. Yeah, it isn't enough. You know, we need to actually empower children with the tools that they can use to deal with these situations. So in our martial arts classes, we teach something called verbal judo. It's a set of tactical communication skills that kids can use to uh, deal with these things on the playground. Same thing that police officers have been using for many years. We've just adopted it so that kids can use them as well. That was very interesting when I heard that. And you call them ward blocks. So I'm going to step mm -hmm. back. You guys are going to go through three of them and then we'll talk more. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right. So Aaron here is actually going to be the good guy. I'm going to be the bully. Hey, stupid. You're willing to tutor me? Oh. Wait a second. No, nobody can tutor you. You're so dumb. Oh. Hey, I see you don't like me, and that's okay. But if we get, but I'm sure you don't want the principal to hear about this. What'd you say to me? Time out. If we both get into a fight, we might both get suspended. Yeah, nice job. There we go. Uh -huh. good, good, good job, good, good. Sean. Good job. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. Your first encounter, he responded with something kind of funny, and that's yeah. actually the first block. Exactly. Kind of a funny word block. Just like we have physical moves to deflect a punch that's thrown at you, we have uh, moves that kind of deflect the, the verbal insults as well. So that kind of deflects it, gets them kind of off track. Hopefully that works. If not, then you can follow up with the second word block, which was kind of the polite threat. I'm sure you wouldn't want the principal to hear about this. Right. right? And then the third one you did was a sort of a timeout. Like yeah. What? This is kind of your universal symbol for, hey, stop, right? right? And then also gets his hands up just in case a child does try and hit him or hurt him. He can, you know, have his guards up to defend himself, right? Uh -huh. So this is the same things that police officers or correction officers especially use this a lot. Okay, and you have a workshop coming up. We'll have that information for you mm -hmm. in just a moment. These are three of five that you teach. Correct, yeah. There are five word blocks, and there's more to verbal judo as well, but this is the very practical kind of quick band-aid solution to get it on there. But we, we run the program in our martial arts classes for about 28 lessons. Okay. Okay, and I feel like this is I mean, this is important for all parents. I said, right. where does this bullying come from? And you said generally it's something that is either learned. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, well, I've got a little one. He's three years old. My daughter is five, and quite honestly, she bosses him around. Yeah. You know, does he have the potential of becoming a bully? And sure. you said maybe it could be. It could be bullying is a learned behavior. Sometimes it's from parents. Sometimes it's from teachers or siblings. Sometimes it's just a kid trying to get what they want. When they get results from bullying and it works, and they're going to do it again, just like a child that throws a tantrum and they get results they're going to keep throwing the tantrums All right thank you guys for coming in okay so every parent out there maybe consider this workshop coming up paul you have the information i do the bullying workshop is saturday october 2nd at the south natomas community center that's 2921 truxel road visit zenmarshall.com that's zenmarshall.com for more info and the phone number is there on your screen thanks that was very useful stuff